cool that there's such a tradition and a history in that it's wonderful to have people who know what's going on. It's wonderful to welcome in the new and uh, and to be able to approach this script every year and try to try to get people to hear it a little differently and just like make it resonate a little deeper and a little, you know, a little more. So this year I'm playing young Scrooge, which is of course the young version of Scrooge. Uh, it, it, I think in this version of A Christmas Carol it's really well written in the fact that you get a sense of a boy who made mistakes and, and really helps you sympathize with this man who you might not understand at the top of the play. It's one of the great roles of uh, dramatic literature, I think. Um, it's, it's a wonderful challenge. He, he goes through the gamut of emotions and he has one of the most extraordinary transformations that any character in literature has. I mean that's, that's what you always look for when you're as an actor you want to look for how does this character change from the beginning to the end of the play. Well, nobody makes a bigger change than Ebenezer Scrooge. Eight hungry mouths all living on a clock salary of 15 shillings a week and a cripple thrown in for good measure. Oh yes. You much to be grateful for. It's exciting, it's like a little bit of a homecoming. I mean, I love this city so much, so that's nice in and of itself. I love seeing the old people, meeting lots of actors I haven't met before. I get to explore a character that I haven't met in a couple years and, and discover some new characters, so there's enough new for me that it's, it's kept me really interested and focused. I hope that first and foremost that we, that we get the the message, the, the message of the of the story across, which is, it's much better to love and be loved than to turn your back on love. So I hope that they leave the theater with this awareness of the need, the great need, for generosity of spirit. There are a lot of people out there that are really, really struggling now, and we, there is no other way for them to get a leg up but that we help. And so I hope that they leave the theater thinking about that. I think joy is something the world could use a lot more of right now. And, you know, we just want to share some love and get people to remember in this crazy busy time what the real meaning is.